Catwoman. Doesn't it sound familiar? DC Comics? Some superhero? How about a Chinese scientist who spent decades of her life studying bats to figure out how humans can fight coronavirus? In this episode of In Two Minutes, we would like to tell the story of a scientist from Wuhan University who works in ground zero of the coronavirus battle against humanity, finding possible links and causes of this deadly infection. Her name is Shi Zhengli, and she is 55 years old, born and raised in Henan province of China. She leads the research team who successfully identified the source of SARS virus back in 2004 by spending days and days in the bat caves near Nanning, the capital of Guangxi, a southern province in mainland China. There, in the depth of these dark caves, lived the insect-eating bats who later revealed to be the carrier of SARS virus, which caused the disease that killed more than 800 people between 2002 and 2003 in China. In December 2019, she received a phone call from her boss asking her to investigate a mysterious deadly sickness that was wreaking havoc on the city of Hunan. She immediately assembled her team and conducted tests on samples taken from the infected people. She discovered that this new killer belonged to the same family of coronaviruses that SARS virus and MERS virus belonged to, which were the viruses that she had done extensive research on years ago. One key finding she discovered was that in the bad dwelling dark caves, there is constant mixing of different viruses that acts like a melting pot for new strains to emerge. There are several ways that these microscopic killers find their ways into our body. First, human development into the wildlife habitat and therefore living physically very close to where bats can travel to. Bats dropping could directly be placed where we sit, hang out, and eat. Second, the virus infected bats can infect domesticated animals like pigs that live close to humans. Third, the wildlife markets act as a common place where smugglers and sometimes average people hunt intermediate animal hosts such as pangolins and sell them to customers as exotic food. On February 24, 2020, in the wake of the novel coronavirus epidemics that already claimed hundreds of deaths and as a result of Xu's findings, the Chinese government finally placed a permanent ban on wildlife consumption and trade in an effort to prevent future deadly microbes from jumping into humans. But how about the other factors causing this virus to find its way into our body? Is it true that, given the massive population increase and our coexistence with animals, viral infection of such scale is inevitable every few years? Can we at least mitigate the risks by maintaining public and personal hygiene? Are advances and discoveries in the field of vaccination the most efficient method to combat such diseases? Or is this simply Mother Nature's way of punishing humans for expanding our territories in an unsustainable manner? As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like this video.